Don Whitman along with Frank Rigney and Ernie Afghanis for the final exciting moments of this football game. 14-12 is the score. Here's the third down gamble by Calgary. The ball is at the 24 of Saskatchewan. Hugh McKinnis has it with a couple of yards to spare. Of course, that extra three or four yards that he got at that point down are very, very important. He's down, they're down to practically the 20-yard line, and the possibility of a field goal looms very large at this point with two minutes and 34 seconds remaining in total time. Kramer's back into the ball game. Shum goes to the bench for Calgary. Pass is knocked down by Ed McWhorter. You don't have to remind uh, Calgary fans who wears 61 for Saskatchewan. You recall on Wednesday night in those dying minutes, he took that 18-inch interception and rambled 86 yards for a touchdown that won the game for Saskatchewan. He was second and 10 on the 20-yard line. Now, what do you think Larry Robinson's thinking right now? 2.16 remains till full time. Draw play to McKinnis. Excellent call. He's down to about the seven. And that should be another first down. Wade Shaw made the tackle. A great block by Rudy Linderman, number 17, as he clears out Ken Reed, 58, to allow McKinnis to get that first down. Banuk had a, an opportunity to get McKinnis, but he just couldn't make it. And McKinnis has moved that ball down for a Calgary first down at the eight-yard line. It's first and goal for Calgary. 159 remains to full time. Kennis again. Jack Kyle made the tackle. One fifty one remains till full time. 14-12 is the score. Saskatchewan leads Calgary. Here we go. Second down. Goal, Calgary. McKinnis again. And he's stopped. Fumble. Who's got it? Saskatchewan has recovered. The Stampeder fans are going to remember this one for a long time. McKinnis is attempting just to get that ball in front of the uprights he's hit in here by Shaw and the ball pops out immediately after he's hit Calgary has no opportunity to recover that football Saskatchewan's all over it Don Banyuk is the hero of the moment for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders as he recovered that fumble on the four yard line 125 remains till full time the question is will Calgary get another shot or will Saskatchewan be able to run out the clock and protect that two-point edge. Reed is driven back. While he was dropped back in the end zone, his forward progress had carried him to about the three-yard line. 106 remains till full time. The loss of one, second and 11 is the upcoming play as Ford goes in, Rankin goes out for Saskatchewan. I'm wondering, Frank, what about the possibilities of a quick kick with Ford in there? Oh, I think they're going to try to use up that time, Don, and kick on third down. That time is still critical, but there's less than one minute at this point. Lane straight ahead, going nowhere. After the last, the two plays in these last two ball games that have gone against the Calgary Stampeders, I'm sure their fans are wondering what this ball club has to do to go on to victory. Not that they can't, don't have a possibility to, to pull it out yet, but that was a critical fumble. Certainly a great break for the Saskatchewan Roughriders, but you can't take anything away from them either. They've uh, controlled the football game basically all day. 